I'm here on Soy Diana next to Second Road and about to check out a 40 square meter studio room at the LK residence and this is the lowest price room available at 1,800 baht per night and here it is the LK residence on Soy Diana and just to the left of the hotel you have Second Road and a couple of minutes walk to the right you have Soy Bukau many bar areas so this hotel is in the prime location here in central Pattaya very soft bed nice comfy couch Safety box. work desk here There's your balcony view. Just to the left you have Second Road. And behind the building Soy Diana. To the right you have Soy Bukau. So I think this is the base complex here. shower system set of towels Very nice. Here you have the pool on the third floor. Some lounge chairs. So right down here, Soy Diana. Straight ahead, Soy Bukau. So close to the hotel on the right you have this part of Second Road and around here you have many options when it comes to places to shop. Five minute walk straight ahead you have the Central Mall and across the road from there you also have the Bazaar Night Market, handy if you want to buy some cheap clothes. And just across the road there you also have Mike's Shopping Mall and right here you can take a bus that will take you further down Second Road up until Terminal 21. So you're right in the heart of the city right here. So the room that I just viewed at the LK is a 40 square meter studio. And the cheapest one they have available at 1800 baht per night during high season as the walk-in rate. But looking online through the website, if you're gonna book it online, the room's priced at 2000 baht per night. And the most expensive room, the Renaissance Suite, 
is priced at nine and a half thousand baht per night and is 120 square meter in size so that lk hotel is the same theme and style as other lk rooms that i've checked out here in patia but this room definitely furnished finer with quality furniture and a very comfy bed which passed the softness test so inside the room there was a couch dining table and chairs desk and chair chest of drawers and a handy kitchen area with a sink fridge and a kettle and inside the wardrobe there's a safety deposit box in the bathroom there's a bath as well as a shower system so you've got both options there's also a set of towels and other extras such as toothpaste toothbrush soap shower cap and shower liquid a 40 square meter the room was fairly spacious inside despite the large amount of furniture inside the room and also the facilities inside the hotel you have just the pool which is on the third floor as for the location if you want a hotel room right in the heart of the city it doesn't get better than that many hot spots close by and within walking distance plus where the hotel is located there's many bar areas especially around Soy Bukau where you have LK Metro Soy Excite Soy Chai Poon and Tree Town so as for the downsides despite the hotel being located in a very popular area in the centre of the city it's also located in a very busy area of the city in terms of traffic volume of people and also night bars so noise could be an issue especially during night time so as for the room like I mentioned it was very well furnished with good quality furniture but one thing I noticed was how poor condition the inside of the wardrobe was chip paint and also stains the TV set inside the room was slightly too small which could be an issue if you wanted to watch TV in bed with it being a distance away the balcony view from the room that I checked out was poor with it facing the side of the base complex with not much else in view and the balcony was in bad condition cracked plaster that needs to be repaired the inside of the room also lacked brightness likely due to the restricted balcony view plus a combination of the dark furniture inside the room and the one appliance that the room did lack was a fan of any kind to keep you extra cool especially during the upcoming high temperatures here in Patia and lastly is it worth 1800 baht per night? I'd say no in that area I reviewed hotel rooms for half that price not as well furnished but far better value and also better facilities so out of 10 I'm going to rate that room a 6 high marks for how well furnished it was how clean it was and also the hotel's location in central Patia but the room did have its downsides the poor balcony view the wardrobe having noticeable signs of wear and also the lack of brightness inside and in my opinion the room is overpriced but not dramatically and there are far better alternatives around that area like I said especially Soy Bukau and also on Second Road so the hotels that I'll be reviewing here in Patia the prices that I get per night are for high season and also if you have any recommendations for hotels, apartments or condos that you want me to check out here in Patia just leave them in the comments and I'll look into it for anyone who's coming to Patia during high season today or tomorrow I'll be posting a video of a guide of how to get the bus to Bangkok Airport and also to Patia from Bangkok Airport instead of taking a taxi and it may save you over a thousand baht so I hope that review of the LK residence was helpful I'd say go for the room if you're not on a budget when it comes to hotels the room was very nice like I said very well furnished and in a fantastic location and this time of year during high season you have to book up these rooms quickly especially the popular hotels like the ones in Soy Bukau and the ones that I recommended so right now here on Beach Road I'll call it a day 
appreciate you watching as always on my channel I have memberships available if any of you want to sign up for them and help support the channel and if you could all please like and subscribe that'd be great I'll see you all tomorrow take care